everybody, I hope you're well. So, I'm not in Central America. Spoiler for those of you who don't follow me on any other social media. I did do my full nine week trip, but I left in March and I got back a couple of weeks ago. I didn't have time to edit and upload when I was out there, unfortunately, but I did film a lot, so those videos will be coming out intermittently. But I'm back and I've been thinking about new places already. My funds are now back down very low and so realistically I can't do any of this in a hurry but I can still dream. So the first thing that I've been obsessing about on Pinterest is to do a USA road trip. It would have to be with a group of friends or with a partner of some description if that day ever decides to come around. I'd want to visit LA, San Diego, San Francisco, go to Coachella. I'd have to go to Vegas now on 21, obviously. I want to go hiking in Utah and go to Salt Lake City. And that there are so many places along the way I want to go. And then of course I would want to end up in New York City. I'd want to go to so many places though, and America is so big. I'd have no idea sort of what the best route to take would be. I'm one of these people that absolutely hates going back on themselves. Like, if I am going from A to B or stopping at a place along the way, I, it has to be in the most logical order. I don't know if that's because I'm always on some sort of time scale or some sort of budget, so I want to do things like as efficiently as possible, but I don't know how that would be possible in America because everything is just everywhere. So. I mean, I don't know, maybe I'll just have to go on more than one road trip, which is fine. The second thing on my list this month is to do a ski season. I'm not too bothered about where in the world I do it, however, I do have a few places in mind. I'm thinking about spending the whole of my 2016 in New Zealand, which is exciting, but I don't know yet, I don't want to speak too soon but I could do it then. Alternatively, I met so many people on the trip that I just went on who have done many a ski season in Whistler or Banff in Canada, which sounds amazing. I've only been skiing once, but I actually think I'd really like to learn to snowboard. I think that would suit me much better. The third thing on my list is to hike the Inca Trail to Machu Picchu in Peru. My mum did this while I was in Central America and it's a wonder of the world and I got incredibly jealous. Now I heard rumours that they are closing the Inca Trail in coming years for whatever reason and everyone needs to hurry and go really quickly before it closes. In a panic I googled this rumour and thank goodness there's no need to worry friends. So according to a multitude of sources from Google there is absolutely no way that Machu Picchu is closing anytime soon. Peru absolutely rely on the income that it brings so keeping the site open is extremely important. Rumours of its closure may derive from the fact that the Inca Trail actually closes every February for maintenance so that's good to know if you're planning a trip there. And in 2010 they did actually close the whole of the Inca Trail and Machu Picchu for two months, but it was due to like natural hazards like flooding and mudslides, so I mean obviously you can't have it open when there's a risk of death. But in those two months the Peruvian tourism industry lost 185 million dollars. So understandably if they are forced to close for similar reasons again they are going to be 100% keen to open it back up again. So don't worry kids we can still go and visit Machu Picchu in our lives. Oh and also just so it's clear because I didn't know this Machu Picchu is still open in February. It's just the Inca Trail that closes for maintenance and you don't have to hike the Inca Trail to get to Machu Picchu. The fourth place I I've been wonderlusting over is the South American country of Colombia. Many people who I met on my most recent trip had visited Colombia as part of their trip and I swear 90% of them said it was their favourite country of everywhere. And I'm a sucker for a good recommendation and so of course now I want to visit. It is apparently the best looking nation in the world which isn't hard to believe, I mean Shakira's from there. It's also another country where the primary language is Spanish so it would be great for me to practice my new film skills out there. And this would not be a banana bucket list if I didn't have some sort of exotic paradise island. And so the final destination on my bucket list for this month is the Cook Islands. It was another Instagrammer that inspired this. Sienna Elise makes this Polynesian utopia look goddamn appealing. And that is it for the places that I have been researching like a crazy lady this month. I'm sorry I'm being slow with my Central America uploads. I promise I am working on them and they will slowly but surely be going live. If you do want to be keeping up to date with
with what I'm doing at the time it actually happens. You can follow me on Instagram. And for instant daily updates, I do have Snapchat too. However, I do warn, they do get a little bit weird um, every day. You'll see that I'm just doing temp office work at the moment to save up for the next time that I go away. It is keeping me extremely busy at the moment, which is why my YouTube uploads have been lacking. I'm hoping that I'll be back in Australia by maybe August, but it really does depend on how much money I make over the next month or so. We shall see. I hope you're all enjoying the summer or the winter if you're in that southern hemisphere. Happy travels and I will see you very soon. Bye! <laughs>